This is just a reminder on how to save your narrated PowerPoint as a video. And again, be sure that you did your narration using the slideshow feature of Record Slideshow. That's the only way you will have your narration and your timings play automatically. When you're done and you go into show mode and everything plays correctly and your voice is heard and it's audible and everything um, progresses to the next slide using the right timings, you'll go to File, then Save and Send. And if you did this on a Mac, you have to bring your final PowerPoint over to a Windows computer using two, Windows 2000, Office 2010 or later and do this last step. You can't do this on a Mac because it'll take out all of your audio. And if you're using a, a newer version like Office 2013, in the file menu, it will actually say export. And once you click export, everything else here will, re will be the same. So I'm going to click save and send. If you're using 2013, you'll click export. I'll look for the create video. And then here for the quality, I want to set it to internet. It'll just make my video a little smaller, more manageable. I ignore this because I do want what's already selected. I want it to use my recorded timings and my narration. So don't change the second option. And then you just say create video. And then it's somewhat of a waiting game. You'll have to save it. Save it to a place you can find it. So always pay attention to where it's going. I'll choose the desktop. It's going to save as a Windows Media video. I think I saw those folks who had uh, Office 2013, it also gives you the MP4 version. That might be even be a better choice if you have that choice um, for the workflow of uploading to YouTube. All right, so I'll say save. And um, it will start saving and you'll see a little progress bar at the bottom here showing you how long it's taking. And of course, the longer your file or the more content in your file, the longer this will take. So you could expect for your narrated PowerPoint this process to take up to five minutes or so to happen, depending on the computer you're using. Once this is done and the red X goes away, you know the task is finished and the file on your desktop should be complete. Uh, make sure you play that file to make sure that this process of creating the video uh, function correctly. All right, that's all there is to it.